Check one, two, check one, two, three. Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop and welcome to another DIY video today. And today I'm gonna to be taking one of these and making it electric. This is the Groovy Echo Mic. And you can see it here. Um, you can get these on Amazon, eBay, and like at drug stores all across the country. They're like, you know, I don't know, $2.99 to $4.99. Um, you know, if you're just buying one, but you can also find them in bulk. And if you buy 10, they're like $15 for 10 of them or something. So of course they go down as you buy um, a bunch if you want to go with some friends. But anyway, I've got one of these today. And since I've done so many videos about lo-fi mics, I figured why not try to make one of these electric? Now, if this video sounds kind of familiar to you, it's because this comes from an article that was recently posted on cigarboxguitars.com where they um, did an article about this exact thing, taking a um, one of these uh, groovy echo mics, or you know, I think they used a different brand, but one of these basically spring mics and turning it into an actual microphone. So here's one that I've actually already opened. So right here, so you can see it's pretty much the same thing, but it's, um, it's different colors. And the reason I, I got a couple of them is because I thought I might need to tear one of them apart to figure it out, but you actually don't. It's pretty straightforward. If you just do that, the, the end comes off here. And in fact, if you had multiple colors, you could mix and match. And then on the bottom, you have to pull a little harder but the bottom comes off. This little cord that's coming out of there, it's literally just a, a piece of plastic that they put in there. It does not do anything for the sound or, or for anything. It's just an aesthetic thing. It just comes right out. So here's the actual mic. And now if you look here, there's like a, like a thin plastic cup here. And then on the bottom of this cup, maybe you can just kind of see it there. There's like a little blue tab. And then there's a spring hook to that. And hopefully you can see that in there. I'm trying to get this at an angle. There you go. And there's a spring in there. Then if you can see just right here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that little spring is hooked over this edge of the plastic. So they're literally just pulling that spring through there and hooking it over. And um, what they did on cigarboxguitars.com is they just drilled a hole through the side here, put the disc, a piezo disc in there and, and put it on the bottom of the cup and then uh, you know used a jack plate to mount the jack right here. And that'll most certainly work. But what I was thinking after I looked at how simple this is, I'm like, why couldn't you just mount the jack in the bottom and make it more like a traditional mic or you'd hold it like this and the cord would come out the back? Okay, so there we have it. There is our electric echo mic. Um, very simple. As you saw, all you need is a 12 millimeter piezo, um, a couple pieces of wire, and uh, your quarter inch jack. Now you saw that I extended the wire because the piezo that I had already had uh, pre-attached leads. If you got one without the lead, you just obviously cut a longer piece of wire. However, be careful with that. You wanna make sure the wire isn't too long because keep in mind the spring is in there too. So if your wire was really long and you had a lot of wire slack in there, it could get tangled in the spring and then it's gonna you know, um, eliminate the effect if the spring can't move. Um, I probably should have demonstrated the acoustic right at the beginning, but the way that this works, the acoustic still works perfectly fine. Check one, two, check one, two, one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check. So it just gives that little springy reverby sound because of that spring that's in there attached to the cup, which is responding to your, your vocals, obviously. Let's try the electric here. So I'll turn the amp on, plug it in. Sounds nice and solid, I love that. And let's see here. Check one, two, check one, two, one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check. Anyway, it is nice because of, with this coming out the bottom, that's where your weight is gonna be, is where the jack is. And then now the jack is kind of, you know, oriented like you'd expect a microphone to be. If you put the jack on the side, obviously that's still gonna work, but it's always gonna wanna tip this way on you. Might or might not be a big deal, but that's just a cool little extra. Folks, thank you for tuning in today where we took this and made this. And uh, you know, it's funny, I started with this one because this was the least attractive to me with the pink and purple 
and I thought, you know, I'll probably screw it up because it's just like a prototype, but it worked perfectly well. So, you know, I'll probably just use this one, but I guess I could go back and, and I have another one in the house as well. I could go back and make a few of these if I wanted. I could probably try some different it's things. It's just a fun little project. Only takes you a few minutes in the workshop and uh, really, really fun. Obviously, you could probably come up with a, you know, a better way to do this, a cleaner way to do this. I just cut it out with a Dremel, as you saw. Um, but, you know, there are various things you could do there. And uh, you could certainly spray paint the mic or do some other things to make it look cooler. But, hey, so thanks for tuning in today. Um, I am feeling definitely a lot better. And so hopefully I'll be able to get a few more videos coming now. But I really do appreciate your support. If you like what I do on this channel, please hit that subscribe button below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. See you guys soon.